all welcome back to our channel everyone today we're going to be running the electric conduit for the main electric service to the barnuminium uh, we looked out uh, the power company already had a pole here if you don't have a pole from the power company on your property it's going to cost you a little bit right here in florida they run about ten thousand dollars for the power company to come in and install the power pole we lucked out, all they had to do is put a transformer and we were ready to go. So we're gonna be digging a two foot deep trench, about 300 feet, and uh, we're gonna be installing the conduit and sort of power company run their cable through into our barnuminium. We did not want overhead service, we wanted underground so everything looks nice and neat and clean. Well, without anything else, let's go. have the big trench that we dug here and because we are in Florida let me show you well this is what happens when you dig two feet on the ground we start getting water so we had to run this pipe as fast as we could uh, I'm sorry I didn't have a lot of video of me installing the conduit but I had to move fast as you could see we already have water in this trench uh, we're in a pretty low area so two feet down I have water this is why the pond stays nice and full all the time we dug about 300 feet today with my buddy's mini excavator and as we walk around here and show you the rest to the front where we ran all this conduit well when we buried this uh, line here because of the water problems uh, what the power company lets you do here in Florida is uh, you could take some good pictures with a uh, tape making sure that it's 24 inches and I also went above and beyond where I buried a couple of PVC pipes straight to the conduit where they could uh, put a tape measure down the little uh, PVC pipe and measure, make sure that it's the right depth and that we are up to code. Now the piece of advice that I have for you, every time you run conduit, make sure that you clean everything before you apply the PVC glue. That makes the pipes connect and, and makes them nice and strong and that bond will last forever. I ran out of daylight yesterday so we're back today to continue this video with the conduit for the electric service. Yesterday I buried the whole line from the pole all the way to the barnuminium and the PVC pipe. They gave me a piece of 500 feet of nylon string. It might be strong but I don't think that's enough to run 300 feet of service cable all the way to the barnuminium. So and I was gonna mess around with my shop vac and try to suck that thing through the conduit. I bought 400 feet of fish tape quarter inch thick fiberglass that I'm gonna run inside the conduit and then we're gonna go from there they're gonna be using that much safer it won't break and we're gonna go and insert that right now we're here next to the power pole this is the quarter inch fishing tape that I was talking about I got it on Amazon it's quarter inch it's all fiberglass nice and rigid so I'm gonna run this inside the conduit so the power company could attach their cable onto this and just pull it over to the house instead of messing around with a little nylon rope all right let's get this done We have about 300 feet to run. Once it's on the other side, I'll uh, check back with you guys. I'm not gonna bore you guys with running 300 feet of this fishing tape. All right, we successfully ran the fish tape all the way to the meter. It's ready for the power company. This project is finished. Well, almost finished. I gotta cover the pipe in some areas with a machine and cover it with dirt and grade everything. But as far as running the conduit and putting the fish tape in there, it's all done. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for subscribing. Hit the little bell so every time we have new content, you get notified. And please share. See you next time.